before this video begins, make sure to check our store at gfxcomment.com. We have free templates, free graphics packs, as well as user interface and much more you can check out at our store. Thank you for all the support. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make this code's UI. This is made by Soren Key, a designer of ours at GFX Comment. So he makes some great work. You guys can follow his Twitter. Uh, his name is the same. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. This is a uh, very nice UI, as you can see. There's this codes banner right here. Uh, let's start with the codes banner thing. First things first, we're gonna start with a new layer. Uh, let's go for our pen tool right here. I'm just going to drag a ruler to the middle like that. Okay, I have fill on uh, right here. I'm just gonna go for, I don't know, black. I have stroke off, as you can see. Uh, my options here, shape, right here. I'm just gonna click right here, and then we'll click right here and drag this, kinda like that. I'm gonna hold Alt and click on this blue square. This will reset the curvature uh, for us, and then I'm just gonna click down. Click right here, down, here, and just follow the shape. Uh, right here, click and drag to follow this curvature, hold alt, click on the blue square, and I'm just going to go back up, and there we go. With this right here, we're going to hit Control j to make a copy, uh, Control t to free transform, right click, and we're going to go flip horizontal, bring this to the other side, right here, you Control t again to just readjust the proportions a little bit. We could double click and just choose some of these colors just to have this right now. Go back to our new layer. Let's use our pencil and right here it's this little triangle thing is literally just a fold so I'm gonna go like that and this will simply just be a darker shade so I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna go down just like that. And we could copy this and move this to the other side, flip horizontal again, obviously. All right, now we're gonna go to these two. We're going to Control G to group, Control J to copy. I'm gonna hide the previous group because uh, I'm saving that for a backup in case we need it later on. But as for this, we're just gonna right click and hit convert to smart objects. All right, now, right click, let's go into blending options. And here we're going to play around with some settings, so gradient overlay, uh, overlay mode, like this, right here. I have it black to white, so this one. And the angle is 90, you can adjust the scale, however you see fit. This will just give us some, well, a nice little gradient, as you can see. Uh, we could go inner shadow, as well. You get this thing, I don't know how this is going to look. I actually like this. So I'm going to keep this a new inner shadow, this one uh, white on top, I like that, I think this looks pretty cool too. Alright, now I'm going to add a drop shadow, I'm going to turn these up, angle is at 90, just try to copy my settings that you can see here. Alright, so we have this, we can take everything, uh, hold control, click on both, control G, control J to copy, right click, convert to smart object. Now, I always do that, so I have an extra copy, and I have some stuff for backup. I'm going to right click, blending options, and I'm just going to add a stroke to everything right here. I'm going to click on this color. Now, as you can see, we have a nice banner. Um, the effects in the back are simple. They're pretty easy. I don't know if I want to go over it in this video. Maybe in the future ones. If you guys really care to see that, um, I don't think it's necessary, but right here I'm just going to right click, copy this layer style with the stroke, and I'm just going to paste it onto the text. So now we have this, and we could group these two and call this the banner, as you can see. So if we hide this, this is what we have so far, I think it looks pretty clean. Alright, next let's make our actual frame, so make a new layer, and go for our pen tool, and right here. Uh, you just start anywhere, I don't know. It's really up to you. We just go here, let's go down, do this little cut thing. Let's kind of make this add some curves some to this uh, shape. 
Just keep going. Let's say reach around here. We're gonna curve again. Hold Alt, click. We go up, click here, and just keep going up. Round this off, and we're gonna connect this together like that. All right, so we have our shape, and let me move these. Okay, so we're gonna right click. Let's go into blending options. Let's hit gradient overlay. Let's go mode normal, opacity all the way up, angle 90. Let's click on the box, double click right here. We're gonna click on this bottom blue color. Actually this side color here. So as you can see, this goes from blue to white. I'm just gonna hit okay. Uh, and there's a little inner highlight here. So we're gonna go inner shadow, mode, normal. Let's go white, choke all the way up. And the angle is going to be negative 90. I'm just going to go right here. You can increase the size actually if you want to have the side affected as well. Kind of like this. And you can just drop the opacity. So we have something like this. Next, let's add a drop shadow right here as you can see. Normal as well. Just copy my settings. I just want to kind of pointless to narrate every single option that you can see right here. You can hit OK. I'm gonna copy this and right click convert to smart objects because now I'm gonna add a stroke. That looks good to me. So our banner is going to go on top right here. Like that. And now let's add some text. I'm just gonna duplicate the little code text I have here. So go follow at name here on Twitter for codes, sneak peeks, and more. Line these to the middle. Okay, so we have that. Uh, next, let's make a new layer. Let's go for our rounded rectangle tool here. And the radius is gonna be, I'm gonna try 20, I think. And right here, I'm just gonna drag out a shape. Actually, 20 is a bit too much. Let's go for 10. I'm just gonna drag out a nice little shape like this. Okay, and then change the color. Click on the background. I'm gonna do mine a bit differently from his. So. Now for the redeem button, let's make a new layer. Let's use your rounded rectangle tool again. And we're just gonna make a nice little shape, like so make the color green right there let's double click I'm just gonna add a nice little drop shadow as well something like that and this right here is just an inner shadow so angle 90 right there like that And you just want to take this, right click, convert to smart objects, and we're gonna add a stroke once more to finish this off. There we go. Obviously, right click, copy the stroke. So we can paste this onto our text in just a second. Let's get right click, paste layer style. As you can see, we have that. Um, let me just add some, add a stroke here. It looks good. All right, let's get some. All right, now for the X button, just make a new layer. We're gonna go for our ellipse tool now. Uh, make a make an ellipse shape in the corner. We're gonna go double click, choose a red color. Let's go into blending options again, and let's go for inner shadow. Uh, distance at zero, choke up, opacity like that. So we have this inner ring, and a choke to the outside. Make this a darker shade of red. And as you can see, now we have a nice X button. Let's get an X here. And that is pretty much it that's how you make this really nice uh cartoon so 
Codes UI, I have to fix the alignment on some of these, like that. As you can see, I think it looks really good. So yeah, obviously credits go to Soren Key for this amazing design uh, right here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out our store. We have free templates, free graphics packs, a lot of stuff, as well as paid products. So go ahead and uh, check it out. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.